year-end planning. You hear this term a lot this time of year, but what does it all entail? We'll explore this today on Elevate Wealth. Hey there, I'm Deanne Rosso, and I'm joined by our Director of Investment Policy and Wealth Advisor, Rob Vizikas. Welcome, Rob. Hey, Deanne. Great to be here. I'm glad to have you with me. So, Rob, what is your general overview of year-end planning? Sure. When we hear that phrase, year-end planning, uh, really what that's referring to is a set of action steps that we can take, usually before the end of the year. Uh, that will put ourselves in a better position for next year and beyond. And of course, as financial advisors, we tend to think of action steps that involve our personal finances, but not everything uh, has to do with finance when it comes to year-end planning, such as trying to squeeze in an extra uh, dental checkup before the end of the year. Yeah. So we're literally, uh, quite literally, doing the things at the end of the year to wrap up most of the time what we would consider an annual plan, right? That's right. Finish out that annual plan. So it's interesting, though, that I read a statistic the other day by Schwab that only 33% of Americans have a written financial plan. And we think about this course as con- in the context of financial advising and what we're doing at the end of the year. And that was surprising to me that uh, that few people had an actual plan. Yeah, me too. So when we read these things, and then also what we know from research is that having a written plan and having accountability to that plan makes us 42% more likely to be successful with that plan. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when we hear these things, I, I, it just makes me think there's a lot of power in the plan. I think that's right. And the plan doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to have one. Right. Just start somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. Just um, start somewhere with something easy. And sometimes that's thinking about what are the things you need to do at the end of the year before you start next year, right? So, Rob, thank you so much for joining me. And feel free to join us again where we talk more about um, annual planning and year-end planning and the things that you can do to plan for your future. You can visit us at elevate-wealth.com and click Let's Talk. See you next time.